Hello there everyone, welcome to Hitman 3 and we're doing a legacy map video this time. We're doing Marrakesh and we're doing Sniper Assassin, Silent Assassin, suit only. Okay, now that that mouthful's out of the way, what we're going to do is what we've been doing in the previous videos in this series where we try to take out the two targets but we're going to try and do it in a traditional sniper sense, whilst whilst doing a Silent Assassin suit only playthrough. So it is a bit of a challenge, that is why this one has taken a bit of time compared to the last two. Um, but I will say I am very pleased with how this route has played out. Um, I don't feel like there are any shortcuts or cheap tricks in this. I actually feel like it is a largely traditional sniper route. Yeah, so we have got to take out Klaus Hugo Strandberg first. I, I was spending a lot of time trying to route this and the one difficulty I had was timing Strandberg's kill. Um, if anyone who's actually played Marrakesh before, because I recognise there might be some new players to the game who watch these, um, the idea is that one of the traditional ways to get rid of, uh, well, to move Klaus Hugo is essentially to shoot him. <laughs> it sounds so silly when you say that. But yeah, if you get a pistol and you just shoot his body, but do not kill him, he will go into a target lockdown. When he does that, he flees the consulate and he goes towards the school. So this was in my mind and I was thinking, well, what if I can get him to, well, what if I can get a guard to do something similar where rather than you know a guard going into lockdown because that doesn't happen but what if we just get a guard's attention by using a similar idea the difficulty with all of this is that if you try and shoot a guard from a distance such as this the guard will probably trigger a lockdown because he thinks i've just been shot they're going after the well they're going after strandberg so it was tricky finding a way to do it and i do believe i found a consistent timing but it's still a little bit weird all right, so we're on this rooftop. We're just going to knock this woman out. Uh, simply put, we're going to need her out of the way later on, so it's better to just get rid of her now. Okay, so at this point, we've got a little bit of time to kill, but I can explain a little bit more of what my thinking is. So we... <laughs> Hang on, I was a bit confused here. I saw a question mark over there. I thought, what have you seen? <laughs> Some NPCs that react really weirdly. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and shoot one of the two security guards who are in the room with uh, Klaus Hugo Strandberg. So very, very simple in theory. In practice, it's a little bit difficult because as I said, when you shoot the guards in the room, two things can happen. One, which is the desired outcome. They run over here to investigate who shot them and they leave that room quite isolated for some time. The other outcome is they trigger a lockdown, Klaus Hugo Strandberg goes over to the school and this route is a bust. The reason for that is that even though it is possible to get over to the school, which we're going to do once we've com completed this kill, it's just an absolute pain trying to get Klaus over there. I mean, I've seen routes where it's done. You know, I think I've seen a route with uh, AJ Ngujin who's uh, done that type of route. but. But to be honest, I wanted to take him out in the consulate. I even had this image of how to take him out. So it was all about executing the idea. If you aren't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You're going to get some fun with this. So as you can see, I'm taking a shot of the guard now. I've waited this long because I want Klaus to be on this side of the consulate. I cannot in good conscience explain what happens here. I believe it's the idea that he just doesn't bump into the two guards who come over to investigate the gunshot. So they don't sort of get him into a heightened sense. They don't trigger an alert on him. So I'm assuming it's something like that. It might be that he goes into the room where the consulate um, manager is the... What's his name? Oleg? I, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> but yeah, it, it might be that he's just away from it when they go out of the room to run outside. So that was the timing I found. So what I would advise you guys to do if you want to replicate this... The timer's on screen, just try and time your shot the same time I timed it, and it should work smoothly. Okay, at this point, we've got the flash phone. Now, I was using this as a backup idea. I didn't use it in the end, but it was useful just to give me some comfort, because what does happen is we have two guards who come over, and if you didn't see it, I picked up the karma from the rooftop uh, briefcase. The downside to all of this is... If, they, if I couldn't use the karma shot, like I missed one or something, then I've got that phone. If I hadn't have had the phone, then they would have gone out, off the rooftop and they would have gone to the room where uh, Strandberg gets shot. So, it's again, it's all about timing things. And I wouldn't say any of this is bad timing. It's just one of these where you have to 
be a bit careful. As you can see, the two guards are already here. They're, uh, <laughs> they're a little bit on alert, to say the least. Um, now, at this point, be careful, because I was very wary at this point that if I took a shot with the Karma, which, for instance, I could have probably taken a shot then and there at that guy, there's a slim chance they could turn the head and they would instantly go into combat. So you cannot really afford to take a risk if you want this to be a one-time hit. So my advice is just be careful. Only take a shot if you know it's a clean shot, they've got the back to you. Um, or wait like I actually did until they've come out of um, alert. So at this point, I could see just out the corner of my eye that uh, Strandberg was in position. So we're going to take the shot and eliminate him. So bye-bye, uh, Klaus. Right on the head. So... At this point, Karma out. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Again, we're just waiting for a nice uh, shot to line up. There we go. The other guard's going to walk over to just return to his normal position, and he sees the body. So at this point, we can then take a second shot. With them both down, no one will be finding Klaus. At least that was my belief. The one person who could find him, but I do believe it'd take too long, is the intern. The intern does go into the room where Klaus is, um, but to my knowledge, it would take longer than this route takes. So if something goes wrong for you, maybe that's what happens. Maybe um, the intern was just a bit fast. Um, but just trying to remember, oh, hang on, just before I carry on about the intern, try and aim this as careful as you can, try and get it hugging that wall pretty much, because if not, it could land on the roof and then you've got no sniper. Um, but yeah, just regarding the intern, I was thinking to myself while I was uh, doing this that he has a pretty large uh, tour of Marrakesh, for lack of a better way of putting it. Uh, he takes a long time to get to the consulate, so it then has a little bit of time in the consulate, just on the ground floor before making his way upstairs. Hey, I can't remember the times off the top of my head because all of that is about two years, maybe more since I last did it. But yeah, it's a pretty long time, so unless you really mistake something with Razor, then you should be able to get in and out in time. So at this point, we're just going to go up to the Abmaster's uh, roof, I had to think what it was called. <laughs> uh, now, the guard might be looking this way at this point, so if you want to, you can try and distract him. What I did here, I decided to knock out the Abmaster. And it was slightly a bad time because the guard was just turning around. So with that in mind, I thought, right, we're going to have to slow the guard down. So take a shot. That stops him. Um, I thought there's no point really trying to move the headmaster while the guard's still up and about. So let's just wait for him to move to where the gunshot is. Knock him out and we're all done. 47 even decided to do a little jig then. OK, so as we've said before, just hide the bodies. I don't believe anyone will come up here, especially with the time frame we're working on, but still, just be clean. No point uh, leaving bodies hanging around when you've got all this time, because unfortunately there is a bit of a wait at this point. Um, unless you were a lot faster than I was in that last uh, section, then it's going to take a while for Razor to be in his position for take a shot. So we're just going to go into the sniping nest. Uh, we're just going to traverse these ledges. Nice and steady does it. You won't get seen up here, no one looks up here. Okay, so I did take a look at this point and I could see Razor was going downstairs, so not what we wanted. We need him not just upstairs, but we need him in his office, so he's on the complete wrong end of the building. So what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm just going fast forward because there's no point in me just talking over this for another 90 seconds to two minutes, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so at this point, Razor is just making his way into the room. And what we're going to do is we've got a window just here. We've got a little ledge inside and we're going to shoot the ledge. The idea is that uh, Razor will hear the shot and go to that position. But if you're wondering why I'm doing that with the sniper rifle, the scope wasn't making any noises. So I was just trying to de-glitch the game a little bit. But as you can see, I just took a shot. Razor heard it. He's going to walk over there. As soon as he's in, as he's in position, take a shot. Bye bye, Razor. Both targets down. All we have to do now is exit. exit. So we're going to take the bazaar exit. No point trying to sneak into the school to get the key. 
Um, we may as well just take the safe choice. So just go back the way you came. It's all clear. The one thing you have to keep an eye out for is the headmaster's son. Um, as I'm exiting, he is looking this way or looking towards the stairs. So you just have to wait for him to turn around. It's no big deal. If you want to hurry, you can maybe take a pistol shot or a coin. But honestly, it's just worth waiting for him to move. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching folks. I will be trying to get the bank up one done as fast as possible. I am not going to rush it too much because I know that Colorado follows it and I don't particularly want to rush to that one. But uh, I will try and get Bangkok done pretty soon. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in another video. This has been Josh from JJ's Productions. Bye for now folks.